Here's the same bubble coral that had the episodes one, two, and three. And that's a new dropling <clears throat> down there underneath the, the bubbles, the tentacles. She just dropped that today. That's about the fifth one she's dropped since the first video. Let's see what she does if she raises up. Right now she's kind of protecting it and she can feel me in the magnetic field. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to affect much in the other tank. There's the frog spawn. You might notice it's increased largely in size. And of course, the anemone. She spreads out to over 10 inches since the last time you've seen her. That's a couple more inches. <clears throat> Back to the bubble coral. She's hiding the dropling. So it's hard to get a picture there. There you can see it right underneath. She's made a little house for it, protecting it, and now she's closing it up. Putting a tentacle on top of it. It will start nursing off that tentacle later. We noticed that last time. I think it's actually on the YouTube. It's a fascinating process here. Since the first one, there's been at least four others. And we'll do another video later, maybe when it's nursing.